wanted to ask you, were there were you there when they made the BMF name? Were you were you around at that time or you mm-hmm. Yeah, because we wasn't BMF at first. Yeah, uh, it was a heard. label. It was a label called Stomping Ground that Meech had with his brother and his mother fellow uh Big Wayne Wayne. Yeah. Uh they had a label called Stomping Ground Entertainment and then DJ P- Pooh introduced me to the brother. Yeah, because we were you know, on a record label tip. Yeah. To kind of slide in, do some artist things or whatever, and then one thing led to another. It ended up not being a stomping ground, and then the BMF emerged. That's dope. That's dope. Um, and <laughs> I, the 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 lady, I think her name was Maria. She said Maria Shaloup or who? Oh, Mara. 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 Mara Sahu. Yeah. So there was a, there was one thing about her that she said in the documentary that was funny to me. She said that. The letters BMF was also Big Meech Flannery. Um, do you, that has that's because to do she's with it, able. Right? No, that's because I mean it, it could be it could be Big Meech family. Yeah. It could be blowing money fast. It could be yeah. brothers moving forward. It could be Black Mafia family. It could be billionaire mind frame. It could be whatever wow. you want BMF to stand for. When you look at BMF and you see the original BMF, if you go back and look at videos from '04 and '03. You see shirts and they say BMF Entertainment Incorporated. They didn't even say Black Mafia Family. That was made after, way after, with the same logo. But the uh, initial, the original logo was B.M.F. Yeah. Entertainment Incorporated. And it was a company. And that acronym could stand for whatever you wanted to stand for. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when she talks, a person like Mara Sahu, what she was or is or whatever is a journalist, okay? And what she her her job is to follow people and make a story about what she's seeing when she follows. Yeah. Or in 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 my key words in saying that is make a yep. story. Yep. I heard so it. it's just like. Anything else, when somebody writes something and they're the writer, you could be writing about somebody else's life and add what you want in there because you're the one that's writing this shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The person might have died and their family got you as the book writer and while you're writing the book, you add some shit in there right quick that gets by everybody, but you can add it because you're the one that wrote it. It's her story. So that's her BMF story or her BMF story. I might tell the same story as she told in her book but I tell it in a whole different way. And people look at me like, uh-uh, that's not what happened. Because in the book, it said such as, and I'm like, bitch, I was there yeah, in the yeah. house. How the fuck you going to tell me what the fuck happened? I don't care what Mara Salhoop said, bitch. <laughs> it was me you. that was. So let me ask you, man. Um, one thing that I heard in my, in my watching of BMF growing up in the hip-hop industry. I mean, not growing up, but growing up. Watching the hip hop industry, knowing hip hop, I done heard the BMF parties. But I mean, all the parties to me, bro, they was the same because all the, every night, even oh, if how often even was if we it? was broke, my nigga, and didn't have no money and went out, as long as we could get us some alcohol, bro, and smoke us some weed, bro, we having fun like we got a hundred and fifty thousand on us. Yeah, we have fun every night just because we together and we like being around each other, having fun. We cool with each other. We that yeah. cool, like my nigga, we. I used to be in the club looking at niggas like, niggas, I'm having a ball. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't even go to the club. But I'll be like. How often were y'all in the club is partying like that hard? Like, was it every night thing? I or? mean, when we ain't working. You know what I'm yeah. saying? When you, ain't, when you ain't doing nothing and you just sitting around and you got a bag, then you going out and having, a, and having fun. But if you going in when I'm on the road and I'm trying to rap and I'm doing... You know, everybody got their own shit they doing. You know what I'm saying? And when motherfuckers is doing their shit, then, of course, you you know, until your job becomes that big party, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you're going to party when it's time to party. It was always the time to party. It just wasn't constantly, every night, all the time, day in, day out. Yeah. Okay. So, man, he, I, all for the culture. I, I'm, I'm for the culture. I need, I need a, a, a big meat. B- BMS story, like a BM, like where some an untold story, because there's, there's I've seen so many on other different interviews. I gotta get one for mine. A untold story, nobody's heard something crazy mm-hmm. that y'all did during that time, partying, whatever, whatever you want to tell a story. I don't know what's untold, bro. 
<laughs> you don't know what's untold. Uh, not an untold party story. Them joints was epic. They was happening in places where it was maybe yeah. a thousand people at eight hundred people. So it was hard to tell a story about something big or a big party. We them shits is already told or out or. I would be saying the same thing over and over again. You got to remember, bro, this 2018. Now, yeah. That shit was going on in 2003. That was 15 years ago, bro. It just shit feels so relevant like it was just yesterday. It does. It you does. You know what I'm saying? It does. That's, that's, what was gonna feel. Talk, that's what I was going to talk to you about. Is like, it's crazy how I've, it's, it's never been something like that where the you know the, 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 the head guy is locked up with the name. The thing is still relevant to where you hear it in songs. Where people so I feel many, like bro, I'm, if you, you have, Drake. No, but look at the hashtag of BMF and, or and something like that and see yeah. how many people just got on t-shirts and clothes and still yeah. to this day right now. I could pull up page after page after page with people just wearing this shit, repping this oh, shit. I'm sure people make it. I got a merchandise. I got my like, own merchandising line of BMF originals that sell a bunch of BMF clothes. People buy it from me. I need them. I mean, I yeah, I got I got a whole merchandising line where people buy it from me, but people be making the shit and just I'm sure, it. I'm yeah. sure, I'm sure there's yeah. a lot of bootleggers in the BMF logo. Man, it ain't even I'm bootleggers, sure. bro. They just got people that fuck with BMF, so it's a way to make money. Yeah, that's what BMF is about. That's crazy. Niggas that's be like, bro, you know, niggas got on some shirts. I'm like, bro, you know how many years niggas been having on some shirts, bro? <laughs> Ever since I first start making shirts that said BMF, where that had a BMF stamp on the back, people been making their own BMF shirts. Like, it ain't nothing. I don't care about that, dude. You don't think you're losing money, man? I don't, it's not what it's for. It's to keep the brand alive. I don't go hard at that shit to just try to make it a multi-million dollar merchandising. Blah, blah, blah. Man, nah. I'm going to have to fucking get paid for what I'm putting out for the shit, of course. But I, I'll do the shit so people can rep the shit, so people can fuck with it, so we can keep the name alive, so we can keep the movement alive, because dude going to come back. When he come back, boom, 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 we're going to crank that shit up crazy. So I just got to make sure I'm sitting down with the right people. And everything is happening. I'm already in business with people to where, you know, that nigga can come home and do what he want to do. Yo, bro, I want to shoot. A big meat shoot. Now, get it get it over here fast. Come on, Blue. I've been gone 20 years. I need a big meat shoot right now, like yesterday. What a- and then I got to go get him a big meat shoot right now, like yesterday. But I got to ha- be able to be in a position to deal with somebody that can fucking make the shoot immediately. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? He might want to do, he might want to invest in a Bitcoin. Or a Litecoin or something. Yo, I went, yo, what's up with these coins? I need a wallet. I don't know. What, what's up with it? I could just... Bloop, 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 bloop. Got the right people, people mining coins and everything else. Yeah. It's going up. We're going to talk about that in a minute. We're going to talk about the Bitcoin thing. Um, 